In this video, I'm going to be creating a versatile bass sound that can be used in a variety of genres of music. This is what it's going to sound like when we're done. Okay, so that is the sound that we're going for. So we're going to start with an initialized patch here. We don't need to even change that. We can just use this, this straight patch here. And if, as we play it, that's what it sounds like at the beginning before we've actually done anything useful with it. So I'm going to start with just expand the number of uh, voices in the unison here to six. I'll play this so you can hear it as I go. Then I'm just going to expand the detuning out to 27%. Next, I'm just going to adjust the envelope to make it a little shorter. doesn't have a major effect at that note length, but when we have longer notes, that will affect them. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do is turn on our second oscillator. Uh, we also, I'm just happy with the initial patch, and I am going to detune this by 12. So, without it, with it. Next, I'm just going to knock all of these down to zero so that we don't have any unwanted things happening. And we are going to click on our third oscillator. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to choose basic shapes. And we're going to scroll up here until we get a square wave sound. This is going to be kind of like a sub oscillator, so I'm going to tune this down. 12 steps. So let's hear it as we go. Alright, let's adjust the number of voices on this. Sub. the D tune Okay, I'm just going to drop those right out. So there's no phase. Okay, switch filter one on. We're going to change this to dirty notch blend. one is affecting our oscillator one. And with it on. Then I'm going to run all of these oscillators into the same filter. So you can hear that they're cutting off the sound quite dramatically as we're not even really catching a lot of mids in here. Now we'll go to envelope 2, and I'm going to adjust this envelope a bit, just making it a lot shorter. And I'm going to take this envelope icon here, and we're going to drag it onto the cutoff of filter one. And in that way, the envelope is going to affect the way in which filter one functions. So as I play the track, Here. 
So it's got a lot more of a bassy sound. If I was to move this across here, of course, we're getting much more of a synthy type sound, and I could cut off the low end, and we'd have much more of a lead synthy type sound. But as it is, we've got a kind of a bassy type sound here. All right, the next step is to go to the effects tab. Now we're gonna put a few effects on this just to bring it out, bring it to life. To start with, I want distortion. I'm gonna drag that up the chain a little. So let's hear what that sounds like. Next we'll add a compressor, for the purpose of making a bass, I'm going to do it like this. Next let's add a delay into the chain, and we want it to be stereo. And then let's uh, cut off some of that. Lastly, let's add a reverb into the mix. Just adjust a few more of these parameters. Now obviously with the effects you can have just the mix of the various different effects to your taste. So if you don't want as much delay as this, you can have way less, you can switch the reverb off. You can switch in a bit. For a typical bass sound you don't want too much reverb. Okay, great. Let's go back. I want to make a couple of little adjustments here. Um, one is I'm going to drag Macro 3 onto our Oscillator 3 level here and just will allow us to So we're going to go to envelope 2, and we've got a decay here, and drag macro 4 onto the decay. And we'll just reduce this down a little bit. Maybe about... So 
that macro there is going to allow you to really just adjust the decay time of that envelope. Remembering that that envelope is affecting our filter one cutoff. So affecting this. So you want short or long. Okay, so there we have a base patch that works nicely. There's a lot of ways to muck around with this and get this to sound different if that's what you're going for. You can change uh, these patterns here, change these oscillator patches so that you can have quite a different sound going on in there. Let's just listen to that sound with a couple of different uh, phrases. Okay, so there you have it. That is a basic bass made in Vital Synth. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you next time.